So portable AC power bank. Boost your gain. Boost up your carry in seconds. Huh? Boot up your car in seconds. So you guys can see this is gonna be very, very handy either for a friend, this can potentially save your night because when your battery dies, it kind of ruins the whole entire night or maybe even the entire day. But once you get this, you have nothing to worry about. This is all you need. All right, so nice little case here. So it's good if you could just put it in your trunk or your glove compartment. And let's see if the case has any compartment. Yes, it does. Oh, and matter of fact, <laughs> I did not even see this. It actually comes with some cables. Sometimes you never had that right cable and now look, you have a cable for all your devices here. Um, except for USB type C. All right, I'm feeling this already. You have a car charger to charge up the battery bank. You have your, your jumper cables. This is the um, charge up your battery, your car's battery. God, God, I should put these on my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. All right. Let me. <laughs> let me. All right. Let me stop. All right. And then, of course, you have your plug. So this is uh, twenty thousand milliamps. So it's gonna take some time to charge. But take a look at the actual power bank. As you guys can see, not too big, not too heavy either, and it looks good. Nice little matte finish. So you know you don't have to worry about the fingerprints. Um, you have your AC output, so you could plug in any outlet. Now, of course, you have a flap here, and I'm guessing, is this waterproof? Because all these flaps, uh, you have your USB, so two USBs, so you could charge your phone, your iPad, whatever you have, and you have some plugs here. Now, these plugs are for the input and output, so matter of fact, one of these are, are probably an input, so I'm guessing this is like an input. I don't know, if your car shut down or you have something that takes a um, car charger, you know, you, you're going to need this adapter. So what I recommend you do, keep all the plugs and all the accessories inside this pouch. So you don't have to worry about losing a cable or whatever. Um, but yeah, 20,000 milliamps. And it can also jumpstart your car, which is handy. Oh, wait, I got to turn it on. This is your on button here. So you press it once. Right now it's on 0%. So I'm going to need to charge this thing up. You can jumpstart your car. I believe you could plug in the jumper cables. Okay, there it is. So... You can plug in the two little whatchamacallit and you can, you know, jumpstart your car. I'm going to charge this thing up and I'll be right back. Stand by. All right, so you have your power button. We're going to press and hold the power button. I charge it like about 39%, so that's just enough to power up everything. And we're going to test out this power outlet right here. Of course, we're going to test out the USBs. All right, so this thing, all right, so the flashlight, we're going to activate the flashlight. Let's see how it works. So the press and hold. All right, so yeah, you press and hold the flashlight button to turn it on. So handy dandy for the night. It's not dark right now. Blind you guys real quick. All right, there you go. So you double press to activate SOS. So if you're in an emergency, your car broke down or something, this will kind of get the driver's attention. This will get the driver's attention. This is my studio light. All right, so now it's powered on, 39%. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. So I had to press and hold the power button, and now look. The light is on. Of course, it's light, but uh, it is what it is. You guys get the idea. And I have my studio light. So maybe if you have like a camera, you're taking pictures, uh, you can have your studio lights right here on the side. Now, let's see if we can power on a TV. A TV is always important. If you can power up a TV, you can pretty much power anything. Well, that's not 100% true. But, you know, a TV is like a handy thing. Maybe you're on campus. I don't know. You can bring a TV into the library. <laughs> I'm just playing. But that, that is a good idea. Somebody made a video on that. We're going to turn this thing on. This thing has like a safety so it doesn't waste out power. So we're going to turn it on. I think you got to press and hold it to activate AC out mode. The TV is booting up. So you guys can see it is booted up. And having a second outlet comes in handy so you can hook up a PlayStation. But wait maybe so I have an extension cable here so you guys can see a couple of outlets here and I'm gonna actually plug it into the unit oh there's a big mosquito there but I have some insect repellent spray all right so we're gonna plug that in we're gonna turn this bad boy on by the way 20,000 milliamps that's pretty insane I wish they would have made it a little bit bigger so it can hold it can hold um 30,000 milliamps that would have been nice Alrighty guys, so now as you guys can see, it powers up my switch perfectly fine. 
So now I could probably play a game of Mario Kart if I wanted to. So as you guys can see, I'm literally in my backyard playing Mario Kart. Um, I have my extension cable, and let's see if we can really push the boundaries and hook up my studio light at the same time. And now it is powering up my studio light still. So all three devices are plugged in, and it is powering up really, really well. The possibilities are endless once you have an outlet, and especially with an um, extension cable with multiple outlets. But if you do have a car and it's broke down, it's very, very easy. If you look at it closely, you have some indicators here. So this is plus, this is minus, and you basically just... Uh, you know, you plug these in with the right output. So, you know, positive go with positive, negative go with negative. And then you plug it into the actual unit, the portable battery charger. So I'm going to show you guys very, very quickly before I end out this video. You plug it in there. You plug it in. And then now, once it's in, you turn on the portable battery charger. And I think you've got to press and hold so you can activate that mode. And now it's just saying AC out. And now these things are active. <laughs> I'm going to plug it right out because these things are dangerous. You know what? I'm going to turn it off. Real simple. This cable does work. Even though it didn't say MFI certified, but it, it is working for me. So I'm going to use the lightning. I'm going to plug it in. My phone is charging up. Let's plug in another thing that's we have the ingress power cube we're gonna plug that in now I wonder if you can charge everything all yep so if you have a friend you have a micro you have a lightning you have a 30 pin and you have a mini USB here and you can all charge them up right there with one port right there so that's pretty handy and of course you have that second out output right there too so yeah handy 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 stuff here and you gotta definitely pay attention to the AC power and the AC output you can't just plug anything in I tried plugging in my PS4 and this thing completely couldn't take it it just didn't work um, I also tried plugging in my MacBook couldn't charge up so you know just just pay attention to that but definitely you want to make sure you pay attention to that that's definitely important before you buy if not you may have to look somewhere else if you want more power